Actually, true story. See, it even went up. I saw it go up there. But anyway, it is going to be Sweet Lou versus Slade. Sweet Lou with the Zelda and Slade rocking with the blue Yoshi. Um, oh, I love me some blue is, Yoshi. This is going to be a very interesting matchup, I think, my friend. What, uh, mm -hmm. what do you think about it? I think we're kind of seeing very similarly to what we saw in that last match, at least on paper. You know, I was thinking, okay, we could see a matchup of defense once again on, you know, just that corner area versus aggression in Yoshi. But we're actually seeing Sweet Law not really cater to that. We're seeing them utilize that neutral aerial as well as, you know, just generally that also that neutral B. And they're going in and being aggressive against Yoshi. It's an interesting strategy, and it's working out decently well so far. But of course, Zelda best move is Phantom. You still got to utilize it, and Sweet Law yeah. realizing Ooh. that. However, Slade playing this matchup still very nicely, realizing when they can go in with that crazy, crazy aerial drift that Yoshi has, and when they cannot. Oh yeah, what a bold down air too, or down B rather. Uh, you know, Xeno Wi-Fi has a history of a lot of decent um, Yoshi's showing up, so you know I, I don't expect Slade to be much different. Yoshi's an insane character. Mm -hmm. Really good aerial combos. You can catch oh. it out of the sky with quite a lot. That forward air covers a lot of space. It's deceptively fast. Oh that up smash is God. absolutely cracked as an anti-air. Yeah, dude. It's like and, you know, up smash, but slightly weaker and less end leg. It's a good move. It's a good move, absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. But Sweet Lou's doing a good job just holding center on Smashville, uh, but the egg snipe is going to get rid of that phantom. That's going to be important as the matchup goes on because uh, Zelda's a character that really needs to not get hit in order to have her setups come out properly. And yeah. uh, Yoshi can just tank through hits to the live long day because of his uh, super armor and his uh, second hit of the, or his second double jump, rather. Because he only has one double jump, but you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, the, the, the people know. The people know. The people they, know. Boy, do they. And they don't like it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a Yoshi moan right there. But yeah, no, I mean, I completely agree with you on that one. You know, you have to be... Th that's that's kind of where the shortcoming of Zelda is. You cannot get hit to set your traps up. And Zelda just mm -hmm. has a character who does not have the world's best dash mobility or aerial drift or just general mobility in general, kind of suffers in that aspect. And that's why yeah. you don't see them as much. However, at Sweet Law showing that they can make it work and get that f tilt to at least bring the stocks to even but maybe not quite this percent. Slade still putting on this 93, despite coming down from Halo, still getting all that extra credit and racking on that damage. Yeah. Oh, and I, th th there's definitely a lot of egg roll coming out as well from... Uh oh Oh, yeah. Good on uh, Sweet Lou to put up that shield in time. Um, and definitely, uh, there's something I, I haven't really been seeing Sweet Lou do too much. It is utilize Phantom as a defensive tool. Like, she wants to use it for yeah. ledge trapping and everything and to cover, you know, approaches. She hasn't been, like, hiding behind it, though, is the thing. And that's just mm -hmm. part of her playstyle. She wants to come out. She wants to hit you with these combos and everything. But she's not been defending herself from eggs or, you know, just approaches in general like a lot of Zeldas tend to do. Um, that's what makes that's what makes Phantom really potent and a really unique option that Zelda has that Sweet Lou just isn't utilizing because she wants to be aggressive. And I definitely respect that. Ooh. But yeah, whiffing uh, an F-Smash on shield and going to be getting punished from it is Sweet Lou. Yeah, but you know, despite Sweet Lou kind of being behind, they've managed to bring this percent a little bit closer, but still Slade, once he gets that stock advantage, man, he can make you pay for it. And racking up so much damage in a matter of moments. Only the 26 right now, but give him a second, and I guarantee you he'll have a lot more. Let's see what it is here. No, instead, it's going to be Sweet Lou throwing out that dash deck once again, and the projectiles putting on that pressure. Yeah. And and on top of that, the 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 apple or not the apple, the egg. What am I what am I talking about? Uh, the egg is <laughs> gonna be adding a lot of chip damage. Like that's that's six or seven percent per hit, but that adds up quick. Ooh, yeah. But the F smash okay. catching. All right, uh, really good punish because if you hit. <gasps> oh, okay. yeah. That's that's not gonna kill Jed. Uh, it is Zelda. Um, yeah, I was like, wait, is he gonna double dip? But he didn't double dip. So fair enough. You, if you hit Phantom, you still have that like um, hit lag because it, it still counts as, as a, a landed move. And mm -hmm. good on Sweet Lou for being able to recognize that and hit the F smash out. But yeah. right now she is taking quite a lot of punishment from Slade. Yeah, no, I agree. And I think one big reason as to why that punishment is right there is because of something that Slade is doing in the advantage stage. 
he realizes that Zelda up B as like a teleport to the ledge is kind of uncontestable. So instead he waits for Sweet Lou to go to go for a jump or an air dodge or something, and then he forward airs it, gets his damage, and then goes for the ledge trap. He realizes that in order to get his consistent damage, this is what he has to do, and he feels fine doing it. As a result of that, you see that this percent gap is about 90%, give or take. And now could be the stock, oh, but no. Yeah, that's the setup. AI. Yeah, it was able to go a little bit further out than uh, the up would allow, but the up air from center stage right underneath that platform is able to take the stock, and that is Slade going up 1-0 in the set. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't, I, I, I don't know, like here, let's look at this replay real quick. Just, I'll, I'll point out what I want to say here. Just, just, mm -hmm. just look at the replay, okay? How did that hit? <laughs> I, Bro, that, Yoshi that, got that that's booty all. hitbox though. Look at oh, he did, like, look at that. What? Okay. Whoa, wait, right. that's so tall. Why is his tail longer than he is? Oh my I, god. I don't know. I don't know what it is with Smash, but they have a history when, when it comes to like move, <laughs> like extension of like tails and fists. They just make those things really big. But like, look at this. How? Yeah. Like, I don't. Maybe maybe it was the Ford Air Foot. Maybe I don't know, but either way, Hit him with the recognizing fort. that his uh, his move can do what his move needs to do, and he did it just fine, taking game number one. Yes, thank thank you, Th thank thank you, technically on that. Yeah, one, but... dude, put him put him on. Uh... Yo, is that King Khalil in chat? Let's go. Oh, Khalil, hey, what's up, dude? Hey, well, uh, speaking of peak, guys, yeah. For those of you guys who don't know, uh, Khalil is an OG ca caster with Laird and I. We both got our start in a tournament that. Uh, he was also a caster at, so, you know, always nice to see familiar faces. But right now, this Absolutely. familiar face of PS2 is the stage that we're going to be seeing. Laird, what do you think about this pick? Dude, Tri-State loves this stage. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Right? Yeah, dude. Like, you rarely see counter picks because people love PS2 so much. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Dude, I'm so happy. Like, uh, the world loves PS2. Tri-State worships PS2. <laughs> it's like uh it's like actually we're not supposed to wait okay it's, it's like, we're not going there anyway yeah, we're not going to go to the crusade but anyway <laughs> no right now i mean you can see this pick is working out pretty well for sweet lou the game is oh. no longer even actually okay that's going to be the up smash late yeah. tying it out with the up smash recognizing that they're that uh sweet lou is going to tp right to them yeah well the thing is with the with this stage it is good, better for zelda because it is a longer stage Mm -hmm. um, so she has a little bit of space to get away. Here's the thing about Yoshi. I think Yoshi's an underrated defensive character. Because yeah. you know, not only does he have that double jump armor, he's also got Egg, and Egg disrupts everything. Everything Zelda stands for, Egg admonishes, bro. It, it's... Yeah. <laughs> it's just like... <gasps> oh my Ooh! god, he did the setup! He did the he setup! Got it. He got it, and that's an F smash! Oh Don't hold that shield, my guy. You will get popped. Yeah, oh. Sweetlu got to be kicking herself for that one, but don't worry. Yeah, you got a fresh, you got a fresh stock. This is a lightning kick away from making it a, a one stock okay. game or an F smash. Oh, Never mind. Wow. Yeah, that's another reason Yoshi's such a good, such a sleeper defensive character. Is he is one heavy boy. True. He lived Zelda F smash at 120. Okay, not gonna live that one, but yeah. still, Sweetlu, despite being a stock behind, still can make some things happen. But Slade is playing so well right now. Yeah, dude, people want to pog for Yoshi uh, aerial combos. I really want to talk about how good this character is at whiff punishing. Because if you if you whiff an attack nearby Yoshi, you're going to eat like 20 or 40% for it. Yeah. No, you are. And I mean, credit to Slade. He knows exactly how to do it, man. You just throw out that raw move. And then like we pointed out earlier, you just get your consistent damage and advantage state and don't overextend. Ooh. That's exactly what you got to do. Slade realizing that and that's why this lead is so damn big. Absolutely. Dang this movement big. from Slade right now, too. He's, he's, he's skirting around these platforms. Sweetlu can't pin him down properly uh, until she got the grab. Throw him off stage. Sets up the Phantom and Ooh. the F-Smash. Ooh, not the double. Double was not going to connect, but yeah, good stuff from Sweetlu hanging out. Uh, ooh, he's going to avoid the ladder hits of that Nair. All right, he's crawling back, getting some space, throwing out the egg. Waiting for an approach. See, look at him. He's waiting for the approach. He's waiting to whip punish. Oh. And there's the F-Smash going to dash right into that. Yep, Zelda light as a feather is not going to be surviving that one. And there it is, the Yoshi 2-0. Slade advances to the next round of competition, and I believe for them, that is winner's semifinals. Sir, right just like that, Slade plowing his way through three competitors in a row. No 
problem taking everyone by storm. Amazing plays by him, just recognizing exactly when Sweet Lou was going to overcommit and up smashing him for it. Great stuff. Yes, and, and real, they... Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I, I just want to say, like, real quick, before we move on to uh, the next set of competition, I just want to point out something that's that Slade did that I feel like was impactful for his play, but that went unnoticed for a majority of the time. Okay, wait, first I got to point this out. Look at this. Ja or kick into the down. Oh, that my was God. So sick, man. Such a good bait, so too. Yeah. yeah, like, people but, don't uh, like Yoshi, uh, Yoshi jab too much. Uh, they're like, oh, I'll just put up shield. Nope, you're going to get... You're gonna get shield popped, my boy. Yeah, but no, like the uh, the thing about Slate is that he does a lot of really cool movement things with Yoshi that help his neutral a lot. You see him, mm -hmm. you saw him. If you go back in the vod, you'll see him wave landing onto the platform a lot in neutral. Yeah. That's something that uh, Tweak does a lot. Well, not necessarily with the wave land, but using platform 